Hey guys, it's Karen from Right by Karen and Haley. Yesterday I did miss my Monday update because I was out uh, visiting family, so sorry about that. Um, but I had a really good time and there was barbecue and mar marshmallows and s'mores and good stuff like that, so <laughs> I had fun. Anyway, um, this is going to be my Tuesday update, I guess, because it's not on Monday, um, which is kind of lame and I feel stupid for doing that, but that's the way it goes sometimes. Um, anyway, uh, as usual, I'll be doing a Copic Marker of the Week, and, um, <clears throat> a Copic Color of the Week, excuse me, and then I'll be doing the triple shout-out thing, and I'll be talking to you guys about some random stuff that probably isn't really that important, but I'm gonna talk about it anyway, I guess, so, anyways, I'll see you later at the end of the video. Or in the other clips, I mean. Yeah. I'm weird today. <laughs> okay, so, um, of course, our new channel that my sister and I are doing, called Sister's Game, is going to have some new videos uploaded this week. Um, we played a bunch of Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles and some Super Smash Bros. Be uh, Melee. So, we're going to be uploading some of those this week. Um, and I hope that you like them. Here's a couple sneak peeks so that you can kind of get an idea of how we play. Um, we're kind of derpy. And if you don't, if you're looking for a how to play this game type of commentary, you're going to want to go somewhere else. Because my sister and I just kind of dink around and we play games to have fun. So, um, it's really all about enjoying ourselves. So it's not really like, oh, this is how you play the game. So, just so you know. We're not very informative, we're more uh, trying to go for being entertaining, so. Yeah, I feel like the first episode was just making our people. Well, we can... Oh man! Yeah, 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 you guys think the um, the let's play so far pretty funny um, I have a link in the description below to our channel as well as I will be having the link to the channel right here um, in the 
video right now. Um, click on that if you want to watch more. Um, not all of these are uploaded as of yet, but those are just some sneak peeks of what you can see in the next coming weeks, and I hope that you enjoy. Um, and on to Copic Color. Hey guys, it's Karen, and um, I'm here with my Copic Color of the Week for this week. Um, this week I chose R24. Prawn is the name of this marker. Um, it's uh, the reason I picked this marker this week is because I asked my friend kind of what color I should showcase this week and she said to do a red because reds are kind of hard to um, they're kind of hard to use especially in the Copics because they're such a strong um, amount of pigment in the marker uh, in most red colors so I used my um, most versatile red marker that I own um, this color is great as a nice even mid-tone red that doesn't overpower other colors. You can get a really nice flat red out of this color. Um, I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, and then you can get a lot of shading out of this color um, in just one marker. Um, it can make a wide range of dark and light. So like this is one layer of color, this is two layers, this is three layers right here. Um, you can see it's starting to get to be just about where... It, starts to uh, look like the same color and um, right around four layers it stops getting darker so um, it's kind of like a four or five color marker on, in its own so that's kind of a nice um, perk and most Copic markers are like that anyway but this color is really um, versatile so like this shirt I only used R24 on this picture um, this is what it looks like when it's blended with the colorless blender. Um, and this is what it looks like if you color it solid and then do a swirl pattern with a lighter marker. This lighter marker was R21. And if you use it with R21 and R39 you can get a really nice gradient. Um, so that's what this bottom uh, stripe is for. And it's best contrast marker is... Um, uh, it's best contrast combination, I, I mean to say, is BG-11 and BG-45. They look really nice together, and a lot of blue-greens will look really good against this color. Um, and you can also use blue-greens to shade this marker. Um, here's BG-45. Um, BG-11 isn't a good marker to shade with this, because you can kind of see how it compares. Um, it's so light that it makes the color of the red lighter, actually. So, keeping that in mind, you're going to want to shade it with a, a color that's at least as dark as it is. Um, that's really about it for R24. Um, so, I guess that's uh, all I have to say, and I'll hope that you um, catch me next week. Okay, so the last thing I want to talk to you guys about, well, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about, actually, not the last thing, because I still have shoutouts to do. Um, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is uh, that I'm going to be doing an interactive workspace tour. So basically, it's going to be a while before it's actually finished, um, but I've already started and I'm probably halfway through. Basically, what it's going to be is I'll show a main video showing basically where everything is in my studio. And then um, you'll see links over all of the different parts of my room, I guess. And um, you can click on the link and that will link you to a video kind of going into detail about that part of the room. Otherwise, my video would be like three hours long. <laughs> so um, just doing an interactive video would make it a lot easier because that way you can only listen to the parts that you want to listen to or whatever instead of having to watch the entire boring video. Um, so I was wondering if you guys wanted me to show you my Copic collection and talk about each individual marker. Um, and I have tried doing that and that video did take me 21 minutes to record <laughs> because I have a lot of markers. Um, or if you'd like me to just show you what markers I have. So, I don't mind. Either way is fine with me. Basically, that's what you have to look forward to in the next few weeks. Um, and, uh, yeah. On to the triple shout-out action. My first shout-out of the day is going to go to Lovely Angel 20 
Um, they do a lot of really great um, Copic drawings, and I've watched their speed, um, their um, live streams quite a few times, and they're really good, and they're really cool um, to talk to. They're really friendly, and uh, their art's really good, so I recommend them. Um, my other one is going to uh, Manga Girl 511. Manga Girl 511. Um, her drawings are pretty good too. Uh, I think that if you like Copic drawings, you'll really like these two artists. And then there's another one, um, Zytertry. I don't know how many videos she's put out recently, but she sent me a whole bunch of stuff for my birthday, which is really cool. Um, and uh, I'll leave a link to her channel as well. Um, yeah. So anyway, those are my three shoutouts of the day. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next Monday again. Hopefully it'll actually be on a Monday.